that. You don't mind if I join you in your hut now, do you? Thank you. That is most kind of you. Sandstorms can be very, very dangerous. This one looks like it might be set in for us for just a while. Don't be nervous. If you're away from the sand, then nothing can harm you. You'll be perfectly fine. I can guarantee it. You do seem slightly agitated. Would you find it better if I was able to comfort you? Somewhat. Well, let us get acquainted first, and then perhaps, if you still feel like you're a little bit nervous, then I might be able to help you. Does that sound good? Good. Well, let me introduce myself. I I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'm currently on a mission, and you are? Les Kren, an interesting name, Les, and what brings your path to Tatooine? You don't look like you're one of the locals here. really does look quite bad out there. So, your business is your own business. I see. Well, someone who seems to be looking like they need some of my help doesn't seem to be also friendly, do they? No. Have you ever met a Jedi Knight before? Well, at least that's a start. Well, we could be stuck here a very long time. The last time I came to Tatooine, I was in one of these sandstorms, and they do set in for quite some time. So, my recommendation to you, if you are off world, of course, and only visiting Tatooine, is to keep out the sand, relax as much as possible and you'll be feeling good in no time. Some might say you would be considered lucky to run into a Jedi, a Jedi who's out on Jedi business. I might be able to help you. Well, Les, let me first say that I know that you're a bounty hunter. Or smuggler. Let's just say that your general attire maybe gives you away a little bit, and Tatooine is a place if you want to go and not be seen, heard of, or found. So that's why it's filled with outsiders such as yourself, of smugglers and bounty hunters, people with knowledge and don't want to wish to be found. Well, you can tell me about your reasons for being here, if you wish, if that's going to make you feel better. And I might be able to tell you my reasons, too, and we could both help one another. But first, why should you tell me everything? Because I can help you. And if you want to feel a little bit relaxed, let me show you what I can do. You know... Jedi is able to harness the force. Good. Well, let me help you with that. You say you feel somewhat agitated, somewhat frightened, scared to be in a sandstorm as bad as this. And this is not a good sandstorm whatsoever. Well, a Jedi is trained not to fear these things. Though you will need no training. But you have 
a feeling pass to you from me and it will make you feel more and more relaxed. We can get to know each other a little bit further. How does that sound? Good. Don't be alarmed by this. You might see my hand move around just from the left side of your face over to the right side of your face. Okay, I won't be doing anything that will come near you at all. But you will feel some things. And once you feel these sensations, you will feel really good. And perhaps you might thank me later. Good. Right. Let me see if I can help you here. We start off with the right side. And let me know if you begin to feel anything. This is what we call the force. Where you're able to manipulate the force and use it in a way for good. Did you feel anything? Good. I will do the same again on your other side. Using the force on the left side of your head. Try not to resist. It will be a lot easier and make you feel a lot better. Do not feel any better from that. The sand storms, it's only sand. The winds are powerful enough and they blow in from the dune seas. And if you're caught out in it, then you might be in trouble. However, you are undercover and shorted. And you've got a Jedi Knight by your side. So there is nothing to fear here. What world are you from? And the system? That's perfectly fine, if you don't wish to tell me. Maybe you would like to tell me what world you're from. Really? And what would bring you from there? Nashadar is certainly an interesting place. I've been there myself. What is it that you was doing in Nashadar? I said, what is it you were doing in Nashadar? You were collecting a bounty on someone. So you are indeed a bounty hunter, yes. Good. And your name is Laz? Your name is Laz. Good. We just had to double check there to make sure that I had the right person. Let's help you right relax just a little bit more with the force.
How are you feeling? You seem to get just a little bit sleepy there. Well, like I said, the force can make you feel a little bit sleepy at times. And if you feel stressed or agitated, as you said, to begin with, then I can help you feel better. So, Laz, you're from Nashadar. Don't you remember? You just told me. Hmm. Well, you seem to have let me know that you're from Nashadar, and you are, in fact, a bounty hunter. You are a very skilled and talented person. Well, you have told me everything that I need to know about you. How about I tell you everything about me and what I am doing on Tatooine? Hello there. I am on Tatooine on a secret mission. A mission which doesn't make too much sense, though I am looking for someone. Someone who might have information, something which I will find most useful, would pay handsomely for, and would be exceptionally indebted to for helping me as well. I'm looking for a planet which does not show up on our Jedi archives. Well, that's what we thought as well. If it doesn't show up, then... Most likely it doesn't exist, however, it does exist, and I have been pointed in the direction of a system where I need to go, where I'm tracking down a particular bounty hunter, and by chance you too are a bounty hunter, but don't worry, you seem a little bit agitated, it's not you, don't worry, don't get even more stressed. I'm going to have to use the force on you a little bit more, aren't I? But just try to relax a little bit. Would it make you feel better, Les, if you held on to it 
whilst we spend time together, and then you shall give it back to me. Does that make you feel better, more at ease? Well, that's fine. If it will make you feel better, good. So there's no need to fear me whatsoever, is there? No. So we are just two unfortunate beings who have found themselves in a nasty sandstorm on Tatooine at the moment. Right. So we might as well help one another, mightn't we? And it will make our time together a lot more enjoyable and relaxed, won't it? Well, the sandstorm hasn't improved at all, so I, we could be here all night. The sun's have been setting and you know it can get quite cold here but luckily I did bring a power generator with me so you can find yourself well taken care of tonight and then we can make a way in passage back to one of the settlements first thing in the morning well as long as that sounds good to you Being a bounty hunter, I am sure that you must have quite a clean conscience. I was joking. That means you probably find it a little bit difficult to sleep, don't you? Don't worry. I sense these things from you. And I can help you with that too. When you wish rest tonight I am able to help you do that straight away and it will make you feel good and you will wake up first thing I will still be here we will make passage together and I will make sure you have your safe passage back to wherever you need to go on Tatooine to a spaceport no doubt well it will be so I'm looking for a particular bounty hunter. This bounty hunter has been quite elusive. Goes by the name. It begins with J. Can you guess what his name is? That is it. And I have come to the right bounty hunter. My knowledge tells me that you have worked with this before, haven't you? Well, I'm destined for searching for a planet called Camino. This planet no longer shows up on the archives. And I have a location where I'm going to be flying to. My astromech and my ship wait on the outskirts. And that's where I'll be heading. But, for this mission, I want to get as much knowledge and resource on this place as possible. And you have been there, haven't you? No. How friendly are you with this bounty hunter friend of yours? You've just worked with him, but nothing else. So you're not too acquainted. I thought so. Bounty hunters don't seem to have much loyalty, do they? No, that's fine. However, your help and knowledge of this place would be gratefully appreciated. Okay. So I see you don't wish to die for it. I know this bounty hunter is quite notorious in your world, and I have seen his actions firsthand, and I'd be very happy to meet him. It will not compromise you in any way, shape, or form. Your guild loyalty will not be affected. This meeting will never have happened. No, it is not a chance meeting. I have been looking for you, that is correct. I have searched every single 
bar, I'm pretty sure, on this planet. And I was tipped off that you were heading on the outskirts here. Yeah. There's no chance then, is it? So what can you tell me about this bounty hunter? Still nothing. What can you tell me about this bounty hunter? He's exceptionally dangerous. Why is this bounty hunter so dangerous? He works for powerful people. What people does this bounty hunter work for? You don't know. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. It just turned out that you were a little bit sleepy there. You must be very relaxed here. So I'll just use the force a little bit to make you feel a bit better. That's good. So, you were telling me about this bounty hunter. I know you were, you told me that it was a very dangerous person. Do you know where they're located? No. Do you know where this bounty hunter is located? Interesting. So this planet, Camino, do you know anything about this planet which does not exist? Do you know anything about this planet, Camino? I can see why you find it difficult to trust me and tell me about this planet. The Kaminoans are exceptionally powerful people, so I've been told. I have a friend on the Coruscant, and they have informed me of these particular types of people. They're cloners, and I was told they're not to be trusted. So whatever you tell me now about what you know about this planet, the Kaminoans, and if you know anything about the cloning, then I assure you it is literally just between you and I and nobody else. And our meeting here will never have happened. I thank you for your patience and wanting to help me. These chance encounters, it will never happen, have anything like this happen again, most likely. And when they do happen, I assure you, they're good luck. And to have a Jedi friend is a friend for life. It is always good luck to meet a Jedi. So however much information you are able to tell me, as little as it may be, it may not be any at all, it is gratefully appreciated. Now I can help you. What you, where you need to go to when we get out from this sandstorm. It doesn't look too good out there, really, does it? So have you ever been to this planet before? No. And what can you tell me about it? It is a water world. And underwater too. No wonder it is not showing up on the archives. It doesn't sound inhabitable. But it is. And that's where the cloning takes place. I don't understand. I will have to look into this more. 
No, no. Please do. Right. So don't provoke the Kaminoans. And don't entirely trust them, either. I thank you for your time and for your knowledge. It is very much appreciated. I assure you. Thank you. Well, I don't think being here is doing either us any favors, is it? No. So, we can pass the time. I can get the generator out, keep it nice and warm when the suns go down, and we can relax and let this sandstorm pass. I also have the occasional snacks on me, if you have any there as well. Thank you. How often have you been to this planet? I have my Padawan. Comes from here in about ten years ago. It's the last time I visited this place and I thought it would be the last and here I am back again. Let's hope that I don't have to make a third trip here. However, this seems like where a lot happened here, and I'm sure that's why you're here of great importance too. I know that you are tracking a particular individual, a ruthless person with a bounty of exceptional amount. Well, it turns out that I have information on this as well, coordinates that you should follow. Take your ship there and you will have help when you arrive. That is a thank you for being so helpful to me. Like I said, it is good luck to meet a Jedi. Always feel good when you meet one. Hopefully it helps you rest up a little better today, knowing that tomorrow it will be a lot easier for you. Good. The storm isn't getting anywhere, so I think there's only one thing for it. That's to get some rest and to sleep as much as possible. Would you like me to use the force on you just a bit? It really does help. Adventures. 
as does that sound good? You can keep hot for the lightsaber for now. I won't require it until the morning. Well, let me help you relax even more. that helped? You feel relaxed. I can see it. Good. Well, that's what we say now, just in case you do fall asleep. Thank you so much for all of your help. That information has been valuable for me for my next journey and my secret mission. I trust that you two will say nothing of our encounter. Good. But it's always good to make new friends in the galaxy. Especially you. And I do hope that we get to meet each other, but on better circumstances for the atmosphere. So last, there's anything I can do for you. Might be able to pull in a favor further on down the line. Right. Okay. Well, we are set to have a long night here. So why don't we relax? I noticed that you do have some items there. I will set up the generator here. We will keep warm. We will feast. Maybe start a little fire or something. And wait this thing out. Good. Well say again thank you so much for being so helpful and it's a pleasure to meet you take care of yourself cheerio